here's the deal. It's first thing in the morning and I was gonna record this video a bit later, but I got up and I just saw British weather outside. So I'm not super impressed and neither is this guy. Um, so I thought I'd start here with my cup of tea and talk to you a bit about Slack. If you're a developer or if you're new to development, you probably have used Slack or something similar to it. Um, Slack is an awesome tool. It's fun to use. It's, uh, it's easy to communicate with people. It's got built-in video chat, but it can get a bit overwhelming at times, especially if you're in a larger company that have a lot of channels. If you're working on several projects, you're on different teams, you can be getting messages left, right, and center. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a few tips uh, for working with Slack. So let's take a look and see how we can tidy up Slack and make it a bit easier to use. So keyboard shortcuts in Slack are super powerful. The most important one you need to know is command forward slash or command question mark. So you click that and what you'll see here is a list of all the shortcuts available to you. So I would encourage you to have a look through that and see which ones you might find useful and try and remember some of those particular ones. Scroll through here and we'll start with basics. And then you can see there's navigation shortcuts. You got messaging shortcuts, um, some other important ones that you can use. Um, you can hide this toggle again by doing the same thing. So command slash. So one of those shortcuts that's pretty useful is command K. That's the channel switcher. So if I was to go into a different channel, I could just type it and press enter. That takes me to the wellness channel. And if I want to go back, I can just go back to Slackbot like this. And it's very quick. You don't have to look at the sidebar and start trying to find the channel and remember exactly where, where it is. Another super useful shortcut is command shift Y that allows you to quickly set your status and you can use the arrows in your keyboard to navigate through some of the previous set ones or you can just type what, what you need. So if I was just to go away quickly, I'm gonna hit enter here and save that and save. And now that's saved my status and if I wanna clear it again, I can just click clear status. Also very useful is the up arrow key. So if I type a message with typos, and then I wanna quickly edit that after I've sent it. I just need to press up on the keyboard and it immediately goes in to edit that, me that actual message. So I can fix that and press enter again and that saves it. And you can see it says edited beside it. If I didn't wanna send that at all or I wanna replace it with something completely different, I can just press up again and I can delete all the text and that whole message is then fully deleted. So the slash commands in Slack are also super useful. If you were to type in the forward slash key here in your input. It already comes up with a few suggestions here. Um, you can scroll through these and see what you, you know, see what works for you. Um, for example, the Giphy command uh, works like you type in slash Giphy and type in then whatever keywords you want to try and find a funny GIF. So I'm gonna type in funny cat here and it comes up with a suggestion, just a random GIF. Um, I can shuffle through until I find the one that I want. Once I've found that one, I then just press send. Uh, if you find yourself in a channel with a lot of GIFs or images and you just don't want to see it, you want to reduce the clutter, you can simply type slash and collapse and hit enter. And then that, you can see that then collapses the GIF. It'll do, it, it'll collapse everything that's in that channel for you. Uh, if you want to see them again, you can just simply type uh, forward slash expand. You can also search in all of Slack using a slash command. So if I type slash search and then a keyword, or multiple keywords, I hit enter and it comes up already with uh, football related messages. Um, another fun one is adding shruggy to the end of your message. So if I was to type in forward slash shrug and then some message, and you can see that adds a little shruggy character at the end of the sentence. I can also do slash dnd pause all notifications and I can say one hour and it and it tells you there all set I've turned out do no disturb for one hour I can also say forward slash away sets myself as away and you can now see that my little symbol up here is away I can say active and that brings me back to active and I want to turn do not disturb off so I'm just going to do dnd &D off and you can see that the do not disturb message has disappeared from my icon up there. 
Also, a slash command, reminders can be super useful in Slack, and I don't think a lot of people actually realize how powerful it can be. I can see what options are available to me. If I type in forward slash remind help, comes up with some ways that I can use reminders. So you can see here are some examples. So I'm gonna use this first example to see how it works. So I'll type in slash remind me to drink water every day at 11 a.m. And now you can see that I have a reminder set and that's gonna come up, Slackbot is gonna tell me at 11 a.m. every day that I need to drink water. I can check what reminders I have by typing in remind list. And from here I can delete the reminder. And the last tip for today using Slack is to use the sidebar sections. So you can see here already I have some different sections where I can organize all of my channels. So if you work for a large company with a lot of teams, you can get a bit overwhelmed sometimes with all the channels that you're a member of, and it can be hard to keep track. Some people find it easier to leave them all in one list. Um, personally, I like to organize them into different sections that are more relevant. So I, I know which are more important and which I need to look at. So I already have a bunch of them here. Uh, if I'm gonna I wanna create another one, I simply create, um, can click on channels here to expand all the channels that I've got. And if I wanna um, create a new section, I can right click on channels and create a new section. I'm gonna create one called fun and I'm gonna pick a fun emoji. Big smiley face like that will do. I'll click create and you can see this new section here now and then I can drag in the channels that I want to move into fun. So I'm gonna drag uh, the banter one there and I'm gonna drag this dev random one in here and maybe wellness. And then maybe I'll create another one called maybe random dev. So some dev channels that I don't use that often. Let's see, is there the old neckbeard emoji? We'll select that one, create, and then I'm gonna drag in this triage one, and maybe this guild. And now that way I've got all of my channels organized into fun little categories, and that can make it easier for me to find the one I'm looking for.